Hey there. How is it in 2023? I'm filming this in 2022. So I'm in the past and you are in the future. What's it like to be in the future? Well, actually right now, by the time you're watching this, you're in the present. But at the time of me now, when I'm talking to you in the past, you are currently in the future. So how does it feel? You know what? All of this is a little confusing, I think. So why don't we take it back? Just to make sense of some things. Why don't we take it back to the future? And who better to take us back to the future than Doc? and his good old DeLorean. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Back to the Future. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you, hello, you, you, you. I'm talking to you, my little future, futurians. Thank you to all of my little golden nuggets who stick around, who subscribe, and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. Y'all make up the backbone of this community, and I love having you here. I love reading your fun comments down below about these movies and shows that we watch together. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are ya? If you like what you see here, and my intro hasn't scared you off yet, maybe consider clicking that little red button down below to subscribe. You might be a weirdo like me, and like the rest of us. You might like it here, so. Thanks. Today, we're watching Back to the Future. I am excited. This is a movie that I've seen before. <laughs> I am in a mood today. Well, I don't know what's happening. I like, I would, thought I was normal today. <laughs> I'm never normal, apparently. Um, I thought I was like in a, just a chill, normal mood. And then I hit record and all of a sudden this goofy person came out. So apologies, but I'm ready to have fun today. I'm excited to revisit this movie. It has been years since I've watched this one, but it is a classic. It's iconic. It's one of those films that when I first started posting reactions to movies here on my channel, a lot of people actually requested that I do this movie, but I'm relatively familiar with it. I mean, I've seen it quite a few times, so I didn't really want to react to this initially when I started my channel, but now I've waited. I've been doing YouTube now consistently, or at least successfully, I'd like to think for a couple of years. And it's been, I don't know, eight years, 10 years. It's been a while since I've watched this movie. Although I do remember everything that happens in it. Um, there's a lot of fun moments that I really just want to revisit. I want to have some good old fashioned nostalgic fun with you guys today. This is one of those movies that like made me think I wanted to live in the 50s. <laughs> and then I grew up and realized like I'm a woman and that would have been horrible. But this movie always like hit a soft spot in my heart. Like I always wanted to go back to the 50s and wear poodle skirts and drink milkshakes and diners and go to a sock hop. Like I always wanted to do all that stuff because of stuff I saw in this movie. And it's just so much fun. I mean, Michael J. Fox is incredible. Christopher Lloyd is incredible. It's just such a fun cast and such a fun time. And I don't think I've seen the other Back to the Future movies. I think I've only seen this one. I'm not really sure. I honestly cannot remember. But if you guys really like this series or you'd want me to react to maybe just the sequel or something like that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And I've always thought that this would just be a fun movie to save for New Year's time just because it's like a cheeky little moment. You know, we were just in the past. The year changed. This is the first video of 2023, so I thought it could be fun to start off with a movie like this. And that's all I really have to say. I'm just excited to hop on into it. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's go back to the future. <laughs> I was waiting way too long to say that. And I'm drinking a seltzer water. I just spilled all over my lap. I, 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 <sighs> Oh my God, I'm a mess. I'm wet. <laughs> Don't clip that, okay? <laughs> God damn it. Man, I forgot about the way that this movie opens. I love the opening with all the clocks. It's like such a quiet little subtle start, but it's genius for the concept of the movie. Wow, they really had to go to like probably so many thrift stores and stuff to find all these clocks. Could you imagine being the home that owns that owl clock? I would not want to grow up there. That sounds kind of terrifying. Hey, Doc. Oh, Doc ain't here. Oh man, I love this whole slow reveal. Plutonium, nice. I love the slow reveal where we haven't seen anyone's face yet, you know? I love when movies start off that way with that element of mystery for a while. 
turns it all the way up to play the guitar. Oh, it's a little one. It's a little itty bitty guitar. Oh my God. Dude, you should wear headphones. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna hear when you get older. Ah, the glimmer on the guitar. On the guitar pick. Oh, that's funny. Oh my God. And we still haven't seen his face yet. Like this is the way we reveal it. Oh, baby Michael J. Fox. Ah! I like how he doesn't even care. I'd be like, kid, if you get hurt, I am not letting you sue me, man. So Jennifer. Marty, don't go this way. Strickland's looking for you. <gasps> caught it'll be four tardies in a row. Great job, Jennifer. You're still gonna get caught, I think. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Oh, oh my God, ew, ew. Yeah, well, history is gonna change. It is gonna change. <laughs> oh my God, it's so weird. Like, could you imagine your principal or teacher or whoever getting up in your face like that and touching noses with you to yell at you? I'd be like, are we gonna make out right now? <laughs> I would just say that to threaten them, threaten their confidence. Well, Jennifer, my mother would freak out if she knew I was going up there with you. And I get the standard lecture about how she never did that kind of stuff when she was a kid. I mean, look, I think the woman was born a nun. No, it's a lie. Ha <laughs> ha, I love all this. All this like exposition that we learn is so, so relevant later. 30 years ago, lightning struck that clock tower and the clock hasn't run since. Uh-huh. Lightning struck the clock tower. Remember that, Marty. Remember that. Oh, what happened? Is his dad a tow driver? Just perfect. Or, or was that his, oh, is that the car he was gonna borrow when it got, he got in an accident? I see. I can't believe you loaned me a car without telling me it had a blind spot. Oh, this guy. I never noticed that uh, the car had any blind spot before when I would drive it. Hi, son. Oh, hi, dad. Oh, right. His dad has got to go through a glow up. We got to go back and give his dad a glow up. Biff just happens to be my supervisor and I'm afraid I'm just not very good at confrontations. Dad, you got to learn some confidence. Wow, the decor of this house is whack. What is with the ship on the wall? Hey, see you later, Pop. Woo! Come on, time to change that oil. Oh, the hair oil. <laughs> hey, Marty. Oh, his dad really is so cringy, but I love him. He's a goof. He's so adorable. But if he was my dad, I'd hate it too. Because he's not my dad. I'm like, oh, he's precious. Like the way I met your father. That was so stupid. Grandpa hit him with the car. It was meant to be. Exposition! Yes! Let's see it. Let's see it later. <laughs> Still don't understand what dad was doing in the middle of the street. Oh, yeah. I remember what Marty does and how he gets involved. Yeah, she, you're, you're a little alcoholic, man. Put the vodka down. This, the whole concept of this movie is just so wholesome. It's like he goes back in time to save his family, you know? Not really, but like, that's what he ends up doing. It's just so sweet. I probably should mention, you should not be watching this movie with me if you have not seen it before. <laughs> Oh, it's time for Doc's reveal. This is amazing. This slow reveal for him too. This is awesome. The DeLorean out of time. Ah! Come on, Heine. Hey, hey, boy, get in there. Up, boy. Heine. Oh, wait, we're sending him in the car? Why? We're doing it with the dog. Poor Einstein. It does, I don't think the seatbelt's gonna keep him in there. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious If my calculations are correct. So he's testing it with the dog. Doc, we couldn't have just sent the car with a clock. We had to use the dog since we hired a dog. <laughs> ah, the fire. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future to be exact. Oh, so he'll show up very soon. The stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Ah! Yeah, you guys had a, oh my God. I don't think he caught that on camera. Did you rip that off? Of course, from a group of Libyan nationalists. They wanted me to build them a bomb. So I took their plutonium and in turn gave them a shiny bomb casing full of used pinball machine parts. Uh, Doc, Doc, you don't want to work with Libyan terrorists. It's not a good idea. He's like, ah, whatever. They're not going to know the difference. What is it, Arnie? Oh, uh, just a little conundrum coming down the, Road. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they knew you were here, but they did. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. And Doc knows immediately that it's the Libyan terrorists. The Libyans! The Libyans! In a little Volkswagen van. Oh no. Oh no. Doc! Get out of here, Marty! Oh my god, what the f 
kind of weapon? What is that, bazooka? What the f Jesus, dude. Don't worry about it. Oh, he's in the field now. Old Peabody's not gonna be too happy about that, huh? They're about to have their minds blown. Looks like an airplane. Well, I win. You have cars in the 50s? Oh, a spaceship. I guess it does look kind of wacky because it's a DeLorean. Oh, and it has doors open like that. It's really gonna freak him out. And he's got the suit on. Oh no. He's gonna freak him out. The radioactive suit. <laughs> ah, it's hysterical, man. Is it gonna be like a billboard that tells him? Oh, oh, his neighborhood. Yeah, it hasn't been built yet. Live in the home of tomorrow, today. Yeah, you're in the past, bro. Oh, the clock, yeah, it worked. Oh, he's like having a metal breakdown right now. He's not prepared for this, this is too much. What'd you do, jump ship? What? Well, what's with the life preserver? The life preserver. And he's like, is that, it's a puppy vest, what do you mean? It's too, like, I, I don't even think like they wore this much denim back in the 50s, like, Denim wasn't as common. I mean, like, I think he was around, but just, I don't think like people were like double denim like he is too. Hey McFly. <gasps> Brady's next to his dad. Hello, anybody home? Hey, think McFly. Think. Yeah, Marty, you have an opportunity to help your dad. Okay, not too early, I sleep in Sundays. Oh, mm -hmm. McFly, your shoes on. I sleep in, oh, he's been doing this. Your shoes untied for years, for years, and he's still, Falls for it. <laughs> Marty's having a breakdown right now. <laughs> I love the way they're shooting this, just peering around him. <laughs> oh, he's hiding from him in a tree. He's scared of him. Oh no, he's spying. Oh yeah, he's, oh, he's a peeping Tom. You creep. You have binoculars, you're a creep. <laughs> Right, he intervened at the wrong moment. No. You're so, uh, you're so uh, thin. Just relax, Calvin, you've got a big bruise on your head. <laughs> Calvin, why do they think his name is Calvin? Or my pants. Over there, on my hope chest. On your hope chest, ma'am. I've never seen purple underwear before, Calvin. Ma'am, that is inappropriate. I thought- why, why do you keep calling me Calvin? Well, that is your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein? Because of his underwear! Oh my God, oh my God. This is literally traumatizing. Call me Marty. Oh. Uh-oh. Pleased to meet you, Calvin. Uh, his name is Marty, not Calvin. Oh, get off the bed, ma'am. You little hypocrite, you little hypocrite. You sneaky mom! Do you mind if I sit here? Yes! No! Fine! No! Good! Fine! I, I mind! I mind! Ah! A uh, big bruise. No! Well, with Marty's parents out of town, don't you think he ought to spend the night? No, Lorraine. I think maybe you should spend the night. I think you're our responsibility. Hey, Marty just met y'all and it's kind of weird. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Lorraine is really bad at reading signals. Wow. Doc had a big house. Holy sh Doc was rich? Was he an actual doctor? Oh. Doc? Don't say a word. I don't want to know anything about you. Why? He knows. He knows. He's like, there's a reason. Don't tell me anything. I'm going to read your thoughts. Oh, never mind. Okay. Wait. He just pulls this random man into his house and is like, don't, don't tell me. Let me read your thoughts. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. You weren't going to guess that, Doc. Do you know what this means? It means that this damn thing doesn't work at all. Doesn't matter. You you invent much better things. He's running away from him with the, with, the, with the blueprints. He's not taking this revelation very well. And that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. <laughs> oh my God, Christopher Lloyd is 
A gem. He's a gem. His eyes in this whole movie are just amazing. To generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Scott. His brain. He's like, we can't do it. I can't. What? This is so much energy. Marty, I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. What'd you say? A bolt of lightning. What'd you say? A bolt of lightning. You never know when or where it's ever going to strike. We know one. We do now. The flyer. The flyer. Next Saturday night. We're sending you back to the future. To the future! Point at the audience. Oh my God. Oh my God, Christopher Lloyd, I love it. Are you interacting with anybody else today besides me? Yeah, well, I might have sort of bumped into my parents. Great Scott, just as I thought. This proves my theory. Look at your brother. Oh, he's fading away. Erase. Oh my god, I didn't remember that he like looks into the camera so often. I love it. It's such a choice. George, buddy, remember that girl I introduced you to? I love how he's just hanging out around school, but like not going to class. I think she'd rather go with somebody else. Ah, uh, who? You. Biff. Oh, Biff. Oh, yeah, I don't think she likes Biff. She said, get your meat hooks off. Did you forget how tall he was? So what's it to you, butthead? Marty, you're really, you're sticking up for her and it's gonna make her like you more. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Bro, 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 we know you know the saying. We know you know the saying, come on now. Oh, that's funny. That suit on that book looks, oh, it looks like the suit he's wearing. There we go. Oh, anybody else on this planet? Is he gonna pretend like he's come down from another planet? I don't remember this part at all, man. With Van Halen too, oh. Scare him with the futuristic music. Silence, Earthling. Oh my God. My name is Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Oh yeah, cause Star Wars hasn't happened yet. This is Great! Drill from the planet Vulcan. Vulcan, we're just combining everything. All of the nerd culture. This is great. You're telling that she is the most beautiful girl you have ever seen in the world. What are you, what are you doing? George? I'm writing this down. This is good stuff. Well, you need to practice saying it without reading it from paper. Oh well, God, we're really throwing him in here. It's not going to go well. Lorraine, my density. My density? I'm George. George McFly. I'm your density. Density. Destiny. Oh, she like, she like, it's funny. She like kind of likes it. She really is like so quick to like people. But she, I like that she's being nice to him. What's that? That's Calvin Klein. Oh my God, he's a dream. His name is Marty and he's not a dream, okay? I mean, he's very cute, but you shouldn't think so. I'll get it back to you, all right? Oh no. No, he didn't break it, he made it better. I mean, he's not gonna get it back to you, unfortunately. That thing he's on? It's a board with wheels. It's an absolute dream. Oh no. Really drew attention to yourself, but I get that he was trying to intervene just to like get these guys off of George, but it made it he made it worse. Oh yeah, go over the car. Yeah, 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 there you go. They weren't they weren't expecting that. Yeah, the manure! Oh, oh, rough day, rough day, rough day. Gotta say though, you boys deserve it. Oh, he does give it back to him. Look at that, oh good. Does that become the inventor of skateboards? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so ready for the rock and roll number. I'm so ready. I'm not gonna lie, I do love dancing like this, like a little swing dancing. I just wish the 50s had like more female empowerment. Then I would have had a wonderful time there. I would say less anti-Semitism, but realistically, like, <laughs> doesn't matter what year I'm in for that. <laughs> it's a great idea. I'd love to park. Huh? Ah! Marty, I'm almost 18 years old. Yeah, you didn't think she'd say yes to that. Jesus, you smoke too? He's shocked. Marty, you're beginning to sound just like my mother. Marty McFly. Uh, Michael J. Fox's like double take looks in this movie are so good. Oh my God, I can't. Hey, don't worry. Mm. 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 
oh, it feels wrong to her, huh? Does it feel really wrong to her? Is she like, this is wrong, this isn't right. Like something about this feels weird. This is all wrong. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is, but when I kiss you, it's like I'm kissing my brother. Yeah. I guess that doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh no, it makes sense! I'm glad you are in tune with your feelings. He's coming. Oh, but it's Biff though. Oh, oh, George is gonna have a real chance to intervene now. Yes. I mean, I feel a little bad that because this is disgusting. Okay, hurry up, George. It's real. Poor Lorraine. My God. This is good though. George needs to know that it's not. Get your damn hands he off. He needs to think that it's you know Marty, not Biff. I think you got the wrong car, McFly. Come on, George. This is actually the darkest part of the movie right here. No, Biff. Yeah. You leave her alone. Yeah. Punk. Oh, poor George. Biff is just too big. Oh, is Rage taking over? Come on, George. Come on. Yeah. Punch him. Do it. Stick up for yourself. This is the most heroic punch of all time. Yeah. Yeah. He did it. He did it. Are you okay? Oh, oh, yay, yay! Oh, look at that, yay! That's George McFly. Uh-huh. <gasps> but your, your sister's still fading away because they haven't kissed yet. Yeah, they got a kiss, they got a kiss! It's time for a little rock and roll, baby! Hey! What the heck? Oh no, Marty's getting weaker. Man, everyone's just taking advantage of Lorraine. Like, what the hell? Excuse me. Yeah, dude. I also love how that guy was like forcefully dancing with Lorraine was laughing like a cartoon villain. <laughs> <laughs> yes! He's restored completely. Yay! All the time. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. The, I love the way that whole thing is executed. It's just great. It's great. Okay, time for some rock and roll. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! I'm so excited right now. I can't contain myself. I'm so excited. This is, uh, this is an oldie. It's not an oldie. Yay! Look at the, like the damage control he did on his image. Oh my God, he's gonna be so confident now. This is great. Maybe he'll be an author. I don't know. I know that like he goes back home and his parents are like better than they were when he left, but I don't remember like if he pursued a creative career or not. I really hope so. All right. We're taking a little too far here now. They're not ready for this, Marty. <laughs> I can't guess you guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are gonna love it. Your kids are gonna love it. Ah! Oh, the letter, he found it. Uh-oh, he's upset. You find out in 30 years. You need to read it, Doc. You have to read it. I refuse to accept responsibility in that case i'll tell you straight out oh no he's got to go fix that great scott great scott you gotta fix it man what bad timing <laughs> oh no of course a piece is gonna fall out of under from under his foot damn it doc why did you have to tear up that letter i know i more know time. you do you change the time. Wait a minute. Yeah. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. Yes. 10 minutes ought to do it. Yes. Good job. Engine running. All right. Uh oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's terrifying. Wow, the clock is a lot stronger than the ledge. It's a really superficial ledge. Oh God, don't drop it. Yes. Great job, come on. 
There we go. Oh my God, it worked magically. Go, 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 go. Come on, pull. Oh God. Doc, figure something out! Oh, do it right there. Oh, he's creating a, creating a quick zip line. All right, go, go, go! I think this is where he gets electrocuted. He's gonna get fried. Oh, wow. Oh, God! This is where his hair gets crazy. Yeah! Oh my goodness, it worked. It worked, yay! There he is. Oh God, he's in the th old theater. Oh, I guess it's an assembly of Christ now? Okay. 124, I still got time. Yeah, you got time. Is the car gonna run? Never shut the car off. Yeah, well, it's out of plutonium. The Libyans, they're right there. You should have gone back a little earlier. Oh, he, oh, he still sees him, his old version there. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> he wore Kevlar, yeah. How did you know? Did he read the note? Did he decide to read it? Oh, he did. He taped it back up and he read it. Aw. And he saved it. Well, I figured. What the hell? Yay! Yay! So how far ahead are you going? About 30 years. It's a nice round number. Aww. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's always a safer bet to go into a little bit into the future as opposed to into the past. Because if your car breaks, you have more technology to fix it in the future probably than you do in the past. Is that his sleeping? But yeah, he just sleeps in such a funky little position. This would be a horrible way to sleep for your neck and your arm that's underneath you. Yeah, your house is nicer. You don't have the weird ship on the wall anymore. I always wear a suit to the office. You all right? He's working a, a high class job. Not saying like a minimum wage job's not a real job. I just mean like, oh my God. Ah, he's fading. His parents are cool. <laughs> he can't handle it. Uh, now Biff, I want to make sure that we get two coats of wax this time, not just one. Yeah, Biff, what a character. Ah! <laughs> oh, how the turntables. Mr. McFly just arrived. Oh, hi Marty, I think it's your new book. Wow, he's totally different, holy shit. Your first novel. His, oh, he's an author! Oh, Marty. Marty, here's your keys. Wow. Oh, it's his car? What, are they giving him the car? Or does he have... No way. He just woke up into his dream life. Oh, look, he's still with Jessica, though. That's great. Or Jennifer, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Oh, he's back already? He's back? Look at his outfit! So if he went 30 years in the future, that would be like 2015. That's when I graduated at college. It's your kids, Marty. Something has gotta be done about your kids. Well, is there really a rush? Do we, we really have to go to the future right now? Can't we just go to the future later? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, his car, his car flies now, huh? What a perfect way to set up for the sequel, honestly. What a perfect ending. Oh my God, so much fun. Such a fun, nostalgic movie. I really loved revisiting this. There were definitely little bits and moments and pieces that I forgot, although I remembered like the entire plot and the core big moments in the movie. It was nice to revisit it for the little nuances and details that I think maybe got missed or that I've just forgotten with time. I love all of the fun little comedic bits with just playing with the subtle or very large differences between decades like the 50s and the 80s and all the little puns and jokes about time and history throughout the whole movie or song references and things like that. It's just so fun. I think that's why this movie has held up so well because for the people who grew up watching it, it's like a nostalgic fun movie, but for the people who didn't, it's just, 
It's still just a fun, stylized piece. I mean, the way that Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox perform their characters, it's so stylized with the sharp movements and the funny comedic body language that they use, the choices they have their characters make, like Christopher Lloyd having like these bug eyes the whole time is just such a a funny choice and he pulls it off really well. And I really enjoyed revisiting this movie with y'all. I don't have too much to say on it. It was just a really fun time. And I don't really remember if I've seen the second one. I think from what I've heard, I believe the second one is they do go into the future, like the ending of this movie would suggest. But I don't know if I've really seen it. I know there's one where they go into the Wild West too, which I think I've maybe seen clips from, but I think this is the only one I'm really familiar with. So if you guys want me to watch any of the other Back to the Future movies in the franchise, definitely let me know. Or we can just leave it here with the good old fashioned classic because it's also perfect on its own. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this in the future. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.